And as March Madness ends, the countdown to Easter begins. That's what I like to hear. And this weekend, Rescue Ranch in Statesville will welcome families for their spring fling. It's a full day of fun just in time to ring in the season. To tell us more this morning, I'd like to welcome Leslie Smith joining us live. She's the Rescue Ranch Animal Husbandry Manager. Leslie, good morning to you and your, your little friends there joining us as well. <laughs> good morning. How are you guys? Oh, we're great. We hope you are too. So let's talk about what's in store for Saturday at the Rescue Ranch. Oh, we have a day full of fun and the weather is going to be beautiful. We have a day filled with Easter egg hunts for the kids that you do need to pre-register for, so don't forget to do that. We've got food trucks, a coffee truck, face painting. You'll be able to meet some of our animal ambassadors, plan our nature trails, plan our playground. It's going to be a really great family fun day for everybody. Leslie, is the spring fling something you've had in years past too? We had our first one last year okay. and it was huge. <laughs> so a little bit more organized this year, um, but I'm really, <laughs> really excited for it. Hopefully even bigger and better this year. Are yes. there any things that um, people need to know beforehand other than like you said, registering? Yeah, so definitely pre-register those kiddos for the Easter egg hunts because spots are limited. Um, and I do want to point out that it's not a dog-friendly event this time. Okay. Um, so leave those pups at home this time so that we can meet our animal ambassadors um, and that all the kids are safe running around and having a good time. And this event is raising money for a great cause. Let's talk about that now. Yeah, so we're a nonprofit organization that really focuses on education to try to teach the public how to be responsible pet owners. So the funds that come from our events like the Spring Fling event help to take care of our currently 82 animals that we have on site, and they also help to fund those education programs. Um, so we've got thousands of kids coming in right now from school programs and all that, all those funds just to help us to make crafts and be able to do stuff like that. So introduce us to the little pets you have, yes. the animals that are with you right now. Are these similar to some that we'll be able to meet at the Spring Fling? Yes, so like I said, we've got 82 animals right now and a right. huge variety of critters. But right now I have Miss Velvet here. She is our Solomon Island Eclectus Parrot. Um, she's a beautiful 14 year old and might be a little too chilly for the kids to meet her on Saturday. But we're hoping that everyone's gonna get to meet one of our newest animal ambassadors. This is Sebastian, he is a mini Holland Lop. Um, so we're really hoping that the kids will get to meet some of our rabbits this weekend. Um, but they'll get to meet a lot of our farm animals too. So we've got goats Aww. and pigs and many horses and steer that are well over six foot tall. So the kids will get to meet all of them and get to feed them. So they'll get to see a lot of our animal ambassadors this weekend. We are ooing and aahing over Sebastian. His little face, you just want to squeeze. He's, <laughs> he's the sweetest. He is shedding like crazy right now, but oh. he's so, so sweet. Now, can the kids <laughs> actually pet the animals? Yeah, so any of the animals that we'll be able to bring around, the kids will be able to get to interact with, and they'll get wow. to learn all about them. And then, like I said, with our um, with our agricultural animals, we'll be able to give them some feed, so they'll be able to feed our goats and our sheep and horses and everything like that. Leslie, before we let you go, <laughs> tell um, me about the educational aspect of an event like this. I think it's important that families know the benefits of bringing their kids around animals in this sort of manner. Yeah, definitely. Especially this time of year, people tend to look at rabbits like they're a really great Easter gift, but we'll kind of talk about how they're, you know, an eight to 12 year commitment and someone's going to have to clean up after them every day and that they require really specific veterinary care. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of education components that we like to add into all of our programs because a lot of people don't think about that stuff. They look at him and they're like, oh, he's cute and fluffy. Right. He's going to require a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Leslie, it's always great to have you on our show. Thank you so much, and we hope for a successful event. Remember, everyone at home, you can Thank find you. more information and register for the Easter egg hunt at the Spring Fling. Just visit rescueranch.com.